Catch up and get ahead with The Edge for the week of June 13th. A City Council budget proposal would cut $1.3 million from agencies who provide safety net services, including for domestic violence, and use that money to expand workforce development. Mayor Ivy Taylor supports the reallocation. I would say that I, I think the way we currently have um, the investment categories make sense because I, I don't think we should keep making investments year after year just to see a continued increase. Here's what could be cut. Money for trained advocates to support victims of rape and abuse during their sexual assault forensics exam. And money to pay for 24-hour crisis intervention services at the battered women and children's self shelter. District 8 Councilman Nirenberg says the cuts are a big mistake. Antonio, uh, Bear County area is number one or number two in domestic violence, in child abuse and neglect, in childhood deaths, and I think that the fact that we're now taking a million dollars out of that pot of money that's going to agencies that are already um, that are already taxed for resources and manpower and facility space, we have uh, you know for instance the the Batter Women's Shelter takes in an average of 70 cases a day, to, and that fluctuates, obviously. I just heard that today they had 100. Go to Nowcast SA to watch video of the budget session and see where your council person stands. Inside the moment of one of America's greatest tragedies, local transgender comedian Joan Riviera had one piece of advice. Fear overcome the day. Love, joy, peace. Be yourself. Be true to yourself. Find your mission and give it back to people like me who need a hug, who need love. San Antonio community members, including civic leaders, LGBT leaders, and their allies, organized a vigil in Crockett Park just hours after the worst mass shooting in U.S. history. Go to Nowcast SA for a story about the event, a slideshow, and video with some local leaders about the event. If you couldn't make it, there's a second vigil planned for Crockett Park on Thursday, June 16th. We recently had a conversation with Desmond Alexander from the Texas Hunger Initiative about ways her organization is trying to end hunger through community organizing and community development. Right now, the group's focus is helping more children get access to free summer meals. Um, right now, um, according to Feeding Texas, the participation, particularly along kids identified as food insecure in um, Bear County in summer meals is about 9%. I'm sorry, so what does that mean? So of the kids that have been identified as food insecure, mm -hmm. and of that, there's about 120,000 that, according to Feeding America, have been identified as food insecure wow. within Bear County. Only about 9% of those kids are participating in any kind of summer meal program. To find Summer Food Site, you can use Nowcast Essays map or text FOODTX to 877-877. If you want to launch and staff a new site, contact the Texas Hunger Initiative at texashunger.org and they'll connect you. Kelly Allen, a passionate and tireless advocate for immigrants and social justice, died on June 5, 2016 after suffering a stroke. As pastor of San Antonio's University Presbyterian Church, Allen helped form the Interfaith Welcome Coalition as a humanitarian response to the women and children fleeing deadly violence in Central America and seeking asylum in the United States. We've put together an anthology of video and links so you can hear her talk about the movement she helped nurture. Good morning, my name is Kelly Allen. I'm the pastor of University Presbyterian Church here in San Antonio and chair of the Immigration Task Force for Mission Presbytery. On Monday, a large group of religious leaders from the South and Southwest uh, sent a letter to the President, the Vice President, Speaker of the House, and House uh, and Senate Majority and Minority Leaders. The letter was signed by religious leaders from California, Arizona, New Mexico, and many from Texas. Go to nowcastsa.com for more on all of these stories. And as always, thanks for watching The Edge.